Well, the lesson is for me, I grew up in the Boys and Girls Club, and I see that not just basketball, being, getting your personality and everything within the Boys and Girls Club help you compete at anything. And that's what it was for me, and that's what I gave back to these kids. I showed them where I grew up at. You know, most of the kids we had on the team, they are Boys and Girls Club members, but they, hasn't, they haven't been around the Boys and Girls Club like I grew up. I grew up from age of eight all the way till I graduated high school. And I, I, the people around in this Boys and Girls Club taught me how to show respect. When I go out there, I'm representing the club, not just my name, but we represent the Boys and Girls Club, and that, that's how we rock. Yeah, I had um, Kenneth Randolph with me. He, he, me and him started, me, him, and Jawan Jackson, all of us started the Boys Club at the same time. We won championships, so we, I mean, our thing is to give back. That, that's, that's the number one thing. Um, some of these kids need life coaches, not just basketball coaches. And that, that's what we try to give to them, you know, just what we went through. I mean, all of us go through something. So when you go through something, you, you get better at it and you help the next kid out. And that's, that's my goal with coaching any level. When I go to coach, I don't coach just this, the, the fundamentals of basketball. I coach lifelong fundamentals because I've been through a lot in my life. I just, think, I just think the Boys and Girls Club is a good avenue for kids. Um, when I was coming up in the Boys and Girls Club, the number one thing was I had an outlet from home. If things weren't going good at home, I could come up to this Boys Club and get a smile. You know, I had people like Ms. Mr. Harris, Ms. Crenshaw, Mr. Jones. I was like their child when I came here. My mom was cool when I left out the house and I tell my mom I'm going to Boys and Girls Club, she was cool with getting, not said she was getting rid of me, but she knew I was going to a place that was going to take care of me and I didn't have to worry about no harm out here in the streets or anything. Some of the kids I have on my team may have, may have been cut from their basketball team, may not, may not experience this again in their life, but for, for one season, they realize I'm a champion. Not just on the basketball court, because we preach it life champions. Winning a championship in basketball, it help you in life situations. You know, I had, I had a kid on my team that wasn't confident with his, wasn't confident with his size. Wasn't confident with his size. But when he finished, his mom called me and said, my son get it, you know? And, and she even, you know, they, I even emphasized to the kids, if you don't get your schoolwork, all this stuff don't mean nothing. You gotta get your books. And that's the number one thing with the Boys and Girls Club. Study hall, all that stuff. And I think with the kids winning the championship, it just gave them a glory. They, they just felt like winners. And most of them have never felt that feeling before. You know, that, that, was, that was the biggest thing for me as a coach. Maybe 20 years we ain't feel this feeling of the Boys and Girls Club as a champ since I played, since I was the kid's age. You know, we ain't feel this feeling. So it really felt good for me to give back to this Boys and Girls Club somewhere I would never stop coming. My kids go here now, you know? And, and that's the number one goal for me, man, to give back to the, to, the, to the place they gave to me what I was, you know? Right now I have a nine, I have a nine-year-old, I have a five-year-old, I have a two-year-old. My nine-year-old go, nine go here, five-year-old got one more year, he'll be here. Um, I send my kid here because I trust in the boys club. I trust the people around here, you know? And like I said, my kid, is, my, my son is a basketball player. But it's not all about basketball or sports when you come to the Boys and Girls Club. You get it, you get everything. You get the ping pong, you get arts, you get you learn to read. I think children need all that. It helps in education, you know? And that's the number one thing why I bring my child here, because I know he's gonna get educated, not just in sports, they're gonna work on him in them books and he's gonna get everything he needs, you know? And the kids around here, what what better group of kids you like to be around? You know, it, it is what it is. I love this place, you know. My last year, I'm present. My last year never, I, every year is my last, I've never got my last year. I'm always going to be the boys club, no matter how you look at it. Pretty much if, you know, if, if you got a child in the area, Richmond, that's where to be, the boys and girls club, 37 R Street, all day, baby.